The Good Life Bill is a DACA solution. The Good Life Bill brings peace of mind to the DACA kids, and it also shows here's what the security piece looks like. So that is constructive. The Good Life Bill doesn't say don't help DACA kids deport. It doesn't do that. It says here's one way to solve this problem. This is sort of like a, a little dance. Okay, Mr. Chairman, thanks for your bill. I really like it. It has no prospect for success. Zero. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi calling a bill that provides protection for dreamers and our borders a non-starter. And now Katie Pavlich is here, and she's calling her and other Democrats bluff. She says they're using these young people as political pawns. Katie, welcome. Good to see you. Wow. Glad you survived Mount Washington in the cold <laughs> weather. We're glad yeah. to see you back and thought out. That was the coldest place on Earth, yes, if indeed. you can imagine. Yeah. And, and I'm told it was actually 20 degrees warmer on the planet of Mars. Oh, so, man. hey, I know how to pick them yeah. when it comes to vacation spots. But it, it, walk us through why you think that they're using young people in this, in this yeah, very political so way. Democrats are always uh, accusing Republicans of not just being bad on policy, but of being bad people. If you're not for DACA or comprehensive immigration reform, you're a bad person who doesn't have any empathy for people who were brought here uh, illegally by their parents. Now, if you look at what has been proposed by the White House and by Republicans in the legislation that was introduced yesterday, it's what the White House has, has wanted, a deal on DACA, which Democrats have claimed for a long time that they wanted. It's why Barack Obama did it through an executive fiat, even though he said he couldn't do it that way. He did it anyway. Way, claiming it was for the good of the people. There's chain migration ending, diversity leader, uh, lottery program ending, and of course the wall. The three pillars of, of that outside of DACA, Democrats have already voted for. Democrats in the Gang of Eight bill, already, you know, the Gang of Eight bill, bipartisan group of lawmakers, Republicans and Democrats, included an elimination of chain immigration and the visa lottery program. And if you go all the way back to 2006 for the Secure Fence Act, which Chuck Schumer voted for, it was just a kind of a watered down version of a wall. It's a fence, a wall, same thing, what Trump is asking for now, and yet Democrats are opposed because they want to continue to use the DACA issue against Republicans as a political hammer going into 2018. So it's, it's a wedge issue for them. So Absolutely. what ultimately happens then? Does anything get done, or do you think that they're going to just you know put, dig their heels in because they don't want to see him succeed on anything? We're seeing a little bit of movement on Capitol Hill now of Democrats maybe thinking that this is not the best uh, stand for them to take on DACA. It's a bipartisan issue that the majority of the country both left and right believe should be handled, should be handled in a way that allows them to stay. But the big fight, Trish, that nobody's actually talking about is the comprehensive part of this that comes afterwards. Because parents of DACA recipients, they're here illegally too. And the question is, do they get to stay? What are the protections? Some of the details of the Senate bill that's coming out uh, tonight or tomorrow show that DACA recipients' parents will not get permanent status, but they will again get protected uh, temporary status, which opens up the question again of where does this thing end? Well, and what does it mean for Donald Trump's base? I mean, they, they don't like the idea of providing any form of amnesty to people who came here illegally in the first place. Yeah, I mean, I know that we're skeptical of, of some of the polling, but according to some of the polling, his base actually is in favor of approving DACA. What they are not in favor of is approving it without any kind of border security in return, meaning the wall that Donald Trump so famously uh, campaigned on. Now, the president has, throughout, throughout the last 24 hours, made it crystal clear that he's not going to sign anything uh, that doesn't include the wall, but during that bipartisan mm -hmm. meeting, it wasn't so clear because he said, whatever you guys come up with, Democrats, Republicans, I will sign. And then he had to kind of walk it back and remind everybody that the wall is going to be part is of that there, legislation. It makes you wonder, is, was that... It is what he what he's doing right now sort of for public posturing whereas you know when we saw him in the room running that meeting that's how the sausage gets made and, and maybe there's more negotiating that comes into play than we see right when he's on the public stage right. well calling the democrats bluff on this daca issue and shutting them down when they say that they only want a quote clean daca bill which means voting through daca without any border security is really them just setting up the country for a problem in the future of having illegal immigration, because if you don't stop the problem now, it's just going to rear her again, and Democrats see those people as future voters. Ah, so there is the Indeed. political pun. There it is. <laughs> All right. yes. Thank you so much, Katie. Good Pelletis. to see you. Good to see, see you. Soon. Happy 2018. Yeah,